Hello again my kitties, it's Audrey. Welcome back to Cat Cat Snail Creations. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful butterfly design that I created for my cousin Stacy. It's also a perfect transition design for going into the fall, my favorite time of year. So as you can see, I've started out with a plain white nail and I'm going to use a neon yellow and a neon orange gel paint polish and kind of blend these two colors together because we're going for a monarch butterfly design. After I cured it, I did the second coat just to blend the colors together a little bit better. And now that I've got it right how I want it, I'm going to cure it again. Okay, I'm going to take my gel top coat that does have a sticky layer and give that a coat. The reason we're using a top coat with a sticky layer is that's what helps these thermal pigments stick to the nail really well. I'm going to be using a nice deep blue. It's kind of bold and pretty and then the other color is a really nice teal. I'm actually starting with the teal and buffering that up the side that has more of the yellow on it and I'll use the darker blue to go over the darker orangey color. I know it looks like the color isn't actually adhering to the nail. It is, it's just because the nail is warm from coming out of the lamp. So the powder, of course, is reacting to it and becoming transparent. And after dusting, time for another coat. I'm gonna do two coats of the powder just so I have really good coverage. Here's where you can really see how it's the nail's warm, so the color's already disappearing. And now we're going to go ahead with a no wipe top coat and seal everything up. Now the reason I went ahead with the flash cure is because I'm going to be using um, Born Pretty's Gold Chrome Powder as well as their Chameleon Powder. And for this you use the No Wipe Top Coat and Flash Cure it and this helps it stick really, really well. I'm using my silicone tool because it really helps to buff it in much better than those eyeshadow applicators. And I apologize for going out of frame a little bit here but I'll be back in frame in just a sec. I did another nail the other day and just used the gold and one I just used the chameleon. So for this one I decided I'm going to use both. It actually turned out really nice. And after we dust that off, time to seal it all in again. So now it's time for the stamping. I believe I got this butterfly stamping plate from um, Bundle Monster, but it could be Born Pretty, I can't remember. Once I pick up my stamp, of course just done in black, I'm going to clean up the stamper just to make sure there's no excess paint on there. And now I'm going to line it up and I'm going to do the top wing first, starting at the cuticle area. And because I'm going to do both butterfly wings, I need to remove a little bit of the stamper that I put on there and I accidentally dipped into the alcohol instead of the acetone, which is why that was not coming off. So I grabbed my um, cotton pad and decided, okay, this is a little bit easier. <laughs> 
and that worked very well. So now I picked up the design again. Same wing, because butterflies' wings match perfectly. I'm going to get that all lined up and get our second wing put on. And voila, that came out fantastic. So I am out of white acrylic paint right now, so I grabbed Sally Hansen's White Insta Dry because it really does have the same consistency and dry time as an acrylic paint does. Went for my go-to dotting tool, a really small one, and I wanted to use like the monarch specific trait of those white dots around the edges of the butterfly wings, so I just kind of went in and dabbed those on there where I felt they needed to go. And this way when it does transition into the monarch butterfly, it shows up really, really well. There we go. That looks good. So now it's time to just top coat it one final time and there we have it. So here's the finished design when it's cool with the teal and the blue butterfly wings. And now we will transition into the monarch butterfly. I love this. I think this came out really, really well. I'll show you guys the other two that I did as well the other days. Now this one I think I just did the gold chrome powder on without the chameleon. I had a really cool nail design set up for my cousin Stacy that the gold would have went with really, really well. And on this one, one of the first ones I did, I actually did three coats of the powder and it was really dark but it showed up really well and I just used the chameleon powder over the top of it so it was really iridescent and beautiful. And so look, as you can see when it transitions, it really changes and is really eye popping at that point. So there's all different ways you can do this. So there they are. I hope you like my butterfly wing color changing design using the thermal pigments. I'm going to take them back to their cool setting. And as you guys know, we're going into the fall. This was a great transition nail to do right at the end of the season here. Um, now that we are coming up to the fall, my favorite time of year, and for those of you who know me know why, um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see everything that's coming up very, very soon, and I will see you again. Ta-ta.